Hello everyone, Lynn here with a video for you all. Today we are going to take a look at a cheap-ish uh, six ring binder. This is an A5 size. Now the caveat to this is I had to get all the inserts separate. So we're going to go through this. We're going to do the breakdowns of how much these things cost and yeah, see whether or not this is actually worth you buying like this versus <coughs> excuse me lord have mercy versus you buying an all-in-one planner now so this is called the antner i want to say it's antner I'll, I'll put um i'll throw it up on the screen i guess um and it is an a5 binder i got it in lilac and here is the information here antner a5 PU leather six ring notebook binder and you have to get your own filler paper let's go ahead and unbox the items here um, it is soft I, can't, I don't know if you can see me pressing down on here it's it's gotten it's kind of soft that soft TP uh, PU leather one thing I do not like is this I am not a fan of magnetic closures because eventually the magnet will lose its, its magnetism or whatever and then you're left with a flimsy binder so that'll be something that I will uh, mention in you know other videos as well number two these rings are super tiny guys super tiny I don't mind silver hardware I like that it's lilac throughout the binder um, you have some card slots here with the larger one down here a little pocket here you have two pin loops one here as well as one here plus you have a section here if you want to put like um, a notepad or whatnot and then you have another pocket here so let's go ahead and how we get this off of here <laughs> oh, okay let's go ahead and take that off I think you can comfortably put two packs of paper in here one pack is 45 sheets so that's 90 sheets of paper we're gonna try it out and see also since I already have this here I already pre-made some washi tape samples this is the type of washi that I'm going to use in here because I don't get to use my big washi that often uh, because I always have um, little tiny books that I'm working in so uh, let's see if these guys will fit in here um, may as well while we are all together and that way the pockets can go ahead and work on conforming to these um, tags here uh, I did not make one for Ooh, that's that one's a little deep um, I did not make one for the bottom because I was thinking of putting something else down here. What? I don't know yet. So we're going to put this to a side and go ahead and look at the inserts. First thing I purchased was a 45 pack of Chris Wang. Um, it is called Universal Colored A5 Refills. These were $7.99 and $8.41 with tax. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So they seem to be the same on both sides. So let's go ahead and open this and we are going to see. I'll just take out a few because like I said, we're gonna be packing, packing this little guy up. So they are colorful sheets. You see they are they're kind of, they're, no, they're not thin. They feel, they have a little thickness to them. Uh, up, up top here, you see date, and then you have Monday through Friday, and then you have the weather, um, the weather here. You have goals section, you have your schedule starts at 5 a.m. go down to 
1, I guess, a.m. And then we have a to-do list, we have a reminder section, and we have notes, and that repeats on the following page. So essentially, it's basically two pages per sheet. So that's not bad. Next, I bought an actual antner. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's weird how I kind of, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is a planner refill kit. This refill kit was $9.99. So the A5 binder itself was $10.99. So in total, with everything that was purchased for this guy here, including this guy, it was $29.34. So we're going to again look at some other items as well when they come and that way we can have a comparison contrast or whatnot so this right here in itself is a complete you may as well say set to get you going uh, comes with a ruler flexible ruler uh, so you can use this as like a page flag or whatnot to annotate what day you're on or whatever. Then we have four zip pouches. So that's not bad. You get four of these guys. Then we have a pack of dividers with the tabs on the side. We also have a pack of dividers with the tabs on the top. So I thought that was cool. Now, one thing I wish they did with this was had different types of paper inserts, of pack insert packs, but you get four of the same thing. They each have 45 pages in them according to the listing, and they are the same on each side. Why it says Q here, I don't know. So you have Q summary, then you have your lines, and that's the same on, again, both sides. So let's go ahead and somewhat get this guy set up. So again, you have your tabs. I think, see, I've never really used the top tabs, the ones with the tabs on top. I think I want to try these out. So, and I'm sure I'm not going to need all of these, but um, we'll go ahead anyway and see now. As you see here, we don't have to punch out all these little holes because all the holes are, um, and it got a little bent in shipping. So that last tab is bent, but we got to pop out all these little holes here. And, uh, I will probably just speed this part up so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me popping out tabs. Okay. So I'm gonna mention that these are cardstock as well. It's cardstock. They're not like laminated or anything like that, but there's nothing stopping you from laminating these. You can um, decorate them, throw them through the laminator. You'll be good to go. So uh, let's go ahead and see how we are going to do this. I have no idea. So um, I would assume one of these should probably go, I would say, in the front. Uh, and then what am I going to put in it? I have no idea. Jeez. 
y'all see the struggle is real like seriously the struggle was real trying to get this off of here anyhow all right so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and which i'm probably not going to even need all of these um all of these dividers so but for the sake of the video let's go ahead and pack this guy and see how many pages. Well, it's still not a... Okay, so there's that. I've got two of these dividers left. We'll go ahead and stick this guy in because I don't want to make it entirely too full. Okay. It still doesn't have a hard time closing. Now you can see up top here, you can see how mangled that is. This one's a little bent as well. And we can see the bottom. And it's not too bad as you see with my, um, with my um, washi strips in here and pen. Stick a pin right here, close it up. That's not bad, except this pin is a little loose in here. And then let's go ahead and try another pin as well so you guys can see that with two pins. So this pin will go here. So these pin loops, I'm going to tell you, they're a little bit big. They're a little big. So you're going to have to have possibly a pin with like a, a little um, clasp thing right here. But let's close this up. It's still fine. And as you see, the pins do not get in the way of each other. They're in here in a way to where... They're not in the way of each other and they're not in the way of the tabs. Now, my thing is this, if you use the side tabs, the tabs that have the, the little, the dividers with the tabs on the side, that might be a problem if you're using two pins. But the top tab, the tabs with the, you know, the top tabs, I think they would be fine even with you having two pins in here. So, yeah, this is not bad, guys. This is not bad, but I would not suggest putting a ton of stuff in here because, um, yeah, that's, I wouldn't suggest putting a ton of stuff in here. I would say to keep it to a minimum or a maximum of maybe uh, 80 sheets. So the, you, I would say maybe one or two binder pockets, depending on what you plan on putting in here. You could get your washi tape strips. You could put something down in here like decorative items. You could put like a, a, pay, a page or something of stickers in here if you want. Oh, not to mention we have this guy too. So let's go and put this guy in. There we go. So we have the ruler in here as well. It fits just fine. You can see that poking out too. So yeah, overall, um, this is a nice little start to anyone starting an A5 binder. This will be a, like I said, a nice start, but you know, there are different types of refills out there. So your setup may be cheaper than this one. It may be more than this one. It depends on the inserts you purchase for your setup or whatnot but 
yeah i really like this i have been on an a5 six ring binder kick for a while now now y'all know i like some little guys so this is a change for me but it's it's a pleasant one so plus it gives me a chance to use the bigger washi strips but anyway i don't want to make this video entirely too long thank you guys for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you stay tuned because i will again have more six ring binders coming here in the near future and then i will do a compare and contrast maybe for all three if not for at least the top two so yeah if you would like to be a part of that conversation be sure to leave comments down below be sure to like the video share it with your friends it helps out the channel and if you feel led to do so you can hit the subscribe button it is free 99 f-r-e-e-9-9 -E -E um and that you know helps to that goes to show support of the channel or whatnot and uh if there's any type of videos you want to see here on the channel let me know in the comments down below and uh we will work on doing that for you guys until next time guys take care be safe and we'll see you on the next video